Hello, diecast fans, and welcome to another brand new episode of Jim's Magnificent Miniature Motor Cars. For this episode, we will be unboxing this Nissan GTR Nismo GT500 for Mini GT. This is the Team Impul version or the Calsonic Impul GTR, to be more precise. Right, without any further ado, let us get on the unboxing. As you can see, comes in a blister pack with this beautiful card art. As do the other two versions, the other two models. And so we must resort to scissors. Right. Open it as neatly as possible. Cut away three bits of this. Okay. So there's the beautiful card art. I'm gonna keep that. Go ahead and call me a hoarder, but I love it. Can't help myself. There's the box. And here is the car. Now you all know I am a big fan of the GT500 GTR. I think she's really pretty. And I've picked up both the other versions, starting with this black one, continuing with the red one, and this one is the latest. And you know that the only gripe I've ever had with this car is the rear wing not quite being straight. So let's see if they got it right on this one. You know what? You know, my, my eyes have never been the best, not since I was 10 years old. But I'll be darned, I think that for once Mini GT finally got the rear wing perfectly straight. Let's compare it, let's, let's compare it, for example, to this thing, which is almost straight. Yep, you can see the, you can see this thing tilting ever so slightly to the left, ever so slightly, and this thing even more. You know, it's kind of pronounced, but with this, well, by gum, I think Mini GT finally got it right. So, I mean, in all other respects, I really adore this car. It's just, it's just so stunningly beautiful. Now let's let's see. I mean, I know we already have reference for what this car looks like from previous unboxings, but let's have a glimpse of the Team Impul car, which I'm sure I can draw from any one of a number of motorsport sites from 2021. Okay, and the nice thing about the Team Impul car. Uh, versus the test car or the uh, the Motul or Calsonic car is that she has silver rims, which is something I always prefer. I always prefer silver over black rims because you can see them. Simple reason. So this car has basically everything I like about this model, which I really do like. And it doesn't have that one big fit, that one big failing, which is the crooked rear wing. So you know what that means, folks. This model gets a 10 out of 10 from me. That's right. This is just beautiful. No, it's just fantastic. It's just flawless and near as I can tell. 
It is a flawless rendition of this car. There is just nothing else that I can think of. Now, it's not quite as mythically epic as the uh, Nissan 400R, so I won't be handing out any 11s. But I do think a 10 is in order. Okay, and that's it for this unboxing. I hope you folks enjoyed it. If you like what you see, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe and hitting that notification bell.